Hey guys, Mark here in Salzburg, Austria, and I'm having a great time. Was in Vienna for a while, got to see some of Graz. Now we're in Salzburg having some fun. And as you guys know, I always like to look at the good and the bad of any place I go so you guys can be better prepared when you travel. So today's video is five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Austria. Okay, now we're in Salzburg, the old town's down along the river. It's a little bit quieter here, though there's a little wind, so I apologize for the wind, but hey, I can at least film here and hopefully not have too many problems. Now, as you know, I like to go, with, except for the snow that's blinding me in the wind. <laughs> okay, now, the five things you're gonna hate when you come to Austria, because you know I like to give the bad news first, okay? First thing you're gonna hate is the service. Guys, Austrian service, I'll be honest, it sucks. Okay, you go to restaurants, they're not helping. You go to shops, it's like they don't want your money. Okay, they will be rude to you, so just be prepared for that. Even, it's funny, I didn't think, after two weeks of traveling through Central Europe, my four-year-old son said, Dad, I want some chicken nuggets. And the lady at the cafe here yelled at two old Italians about that, you are in Austria, not in Italy. You will say, espresso for espresso and not coffee. It was crazy, okay? But, get used to it, the service here is not good. They're not friendly, and you're still supposed to tip them. Not at McCafe, but, you know, you get my idea. The second thing you're not going to like about going to Austria is, guys, it is expensive. Whether it's public transport, guys, 40 to 50 euros for one person, just going to get in Salzburg, or the taxis, or going out to eat, or hotels, anything you want. Okay, this is not an economical vacation. When people come here to go skiing, you go here when you're rich. If you're not rich, you go to Slovakia and Poland. Okay, so just know you're not going to save money going to Austria. It is expensive. Okay, third thing you're not going to like about going to Austria is, guys, you'll notice at 7 o'clock, all the shops are closed. Okay, you're like, wait, I want to go buy some souvenirs. I want to go get some food. I want to go do something. I want to, you know, buy a coat. You can't. Okay, some of the malls stay open, some of the supermarkets stay open a little bit later and at the train station, but in general, the shops are closed at 6 or 7 p.m. throughout the country. Okay, so if you're going to do your shopping, do that during the day. Okay. Also, a lot of the restaurants close at night, or close relatively early at night in the cafe, so have your big meal during the middle of the day, okay? Number four of the things you're not going to like when you hear is, guys, it's very hard to get to know Austrians. Austrians are a very homogeneous group, and Austrians like Austrians, okay? So if you're a foreigner in Austria, it's going to take you some time to integrate into their group. So they see that you actually want to be in Austria, you, you know, respect Austria, these kind of things, and it does take time to get into their groups, okay? Now, all the Austrians I've, I've eventually become friends with, I've all, they're all very nice and very helpful, but it does take time. And that is one thing you will not like if you move here, is it is hard to get to know the Austrians. And if you're traveling around, it's very hard just to meet, pick up conversations and stuff. You may meet some nice Austrians just by chance, but it takes time to really get to know them. And the fifth thing you're not going to like about here is more about the politics. Austria has voted in quite, a, you know, they voted the far right party into power, not into power, but they voted into the government often, and so that could be an underlying problem here in Austria. So if you're here, you might have some issues, but I, I haven't seen any issues, but I'm just, that's one thing I, I did notice here, that the, the far right do have, they are elected into the government sometimes, okay? Maybe not that government's in charge, but into the parliament, things like that. Now those are things you're not going to like about coming to Austria. And guys, you'll get over this stuff, I mean... You'll save your money to come here, you'll deal with the root service because there's so many beautiful things and wonderful things to do here in Austria. And the first thing, of course, with my big belly, the thing I love most about coming to Austria is the food. Guys, there's great foods, whether it's the cakes in Vienna or the good down home, the yeah, grandma style food here in Salzburg. There's amazing food all throughout Austria and you're going to love eating it. I just had this like whipped cream ch uh, cream cheese kind of thing here in Salzburg. Where it's just like, you'll see the big thing, it looks like a puff ball, a big marshmallow melted and glazed with raspberry sauce on top. Dude, I have no idea what it's called. I'm like, Nuka, Salzburg and Nuka. And it is so good. You definitely have to check it out. See, I got a nice you know, Austrian dog here talking. Second thing you're going to love about Salzburg. Well, English German, but I'm making a video right now. I'm in English. Yeah. Hello. I say hi. 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 See, I told doing? you. Get, you meet some nice Austrians sometimes. They come by and say, hey. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, the U.S. U.S. Yeah. Which part? Chicago. Yeah, just as cold okay, as here. Bye. bye. See, there are nice, nice Austrians day. out there. Yeah, thank you very much. See, there very are nice Christmas. Austrians out there. See, once you get to know them. So, the second thing you're going to love about coming to Austria is the beautiful nature. You know, this nice guy coming by, he's enjoying this, the, you know, the cold and the snow. But you, you have to see now the mountains are out there. You have the lakes outside of Salzburg. You have all kinds of beautiful nature here that you can enjoy, whether you're hiking or skiing or whatever, or just walking around or just enjoying it. It is a beautiful place. The nature is amazing. Okay? 
three, another thing you're going to love out here is there's great infrastructure here in Austria. Hotels, transport networks, restaurants, things work here. And everywhere you want to go, everything you want to do, it's all over. It's all over here, and you're going to love it, okay? And what's also nice about the infrastructure is if you have limited mobility, whether you're handicapped, uh, with kids, elderly, and can't walk, or, hell, you can't walk very well, here, metros, train stations, shopping places, they all have accessibility. Not like other places you go in Europe where you can't get into places. Here, Austria is a great job for people with limited mobility, okay? So you're going to love that because the infrastructure is so good, okay? The fourth thing you're going to love, guys, just going into the old towns and any Austrian little town is great. Graz, Vienna, Salzburg. Um, well, it's anywhere you go, you're going to love the old town because it is beautiful. They, take a, they do a great job of keeping it together, making it all nice. You know, beautiful to see, and you really can enjoy the old towns, the Altstadt. Okay, you get a chance to stay in Altstadt, in any of these, in the old town, any of these places, any of the towns in Austria, it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, and the fifth thing you're gonna love about coming to Austria is the recreation, guys. Whether it's skiing, whether it's hiking, whether it's going on crazy tours, going to concerts, all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of extra stuff you can do while you're here in Austria, and it really makes it wonderful because you're not just stuck doing the museum, cathedral, town hall thing. You can out, be out there in nature, enjoy, have a snowball fight, go skiing in the winter, or go hiking in beautiful lakes, by beautiful lakes and mountains during the summer, okay? And so, the five things you're going to love about coming to Austria, one, the great food, two, beautiful nature, three, great infrastructure. Four, the old towns. They're just beautiful to check out. And five, all the recreation activities. Now, if you want to learn more about Austria or Salzburg or Vienna, I have some videos on those, and other places in Europe, South America, the U.S., you want to learn some language, you want to learn some German before you come, or Spanish or Portuguese or whatever, come check us out at our site, www.waltersworld.com. And I'm very glad that a nice, nice Austrian guy came out and talked because I didn't want it to seem like they were really bad because they actually are really nice people. It just it takes a while to get to know them. So, have fun, have a great trip, and we'll see you next time. Bye.